In this video we're going to look at how to create a new style. When you come to set up your thesis template it's very likely that in addition to choosing an appropriate style set and modifying some of the existing styles to suit your requirements that you'll also want to create a few new ones of your own. This is very easy to do but there's one or two things to watch out for. Before we actually get into that though I'm just going to start a new document based on the thesis template. So I'm just going to go to file, new, personal which will be custom on a UOB machine and then I'm going to click on my thesis template. So I've already chosen a style set for my thesis template which is based just on black and white um, styles particularly around the heading styles. So in order to uh, create a new style uh, there are three icons at the bottom here and the one on the far left is the new style icon so just click on that and that launches the create a new style from formatting dialog box. So in order to actually um, set up a new style you just need to work through the, uh, the different fields of the create new style dialog box. So the first one is just to give it a name. So I'm just going to call mine uh, quotation. Um, style type, um, that should be fairly easy to fill in if you've watched the style types video but if you haven't it's probably worth going back and having a look at that first. You can't change the style type retrospectively so once you've set it um, it's locked in so generally speaking if you're in any doubt about which one you want um, linked always a useful one to go for because that tends to give you the best of both worlds. Style based on basically um, is uh, a setting which inherits the style attributes of the chosen style so if your um, requested style or new style is going to be very similar to an existing one for example basic quote I would choose that and my uh, formatting will adjust accordingly. However if your um, new style is going to more closely resemble heading 1 if you select that you'll see that everything adjusts to pull in the settings for heading 1. I'm going to set mine back to basic quote. So once you've done that the style for following paragraph is really the last of the, um, the main fields that you need to consider and that is basically um, asking you what you would like to do um, when you press enter. This is for people that format on the fly so if actually you go back through your document and you apply formatting afterwards this is largely irrelevant but basically uh, once you finish typing with your new style what do you want to happen when you press the enter key? Uh, by and large I tend to always set mine to normal. Um, so in essence what you now need to do is just go through and choose the settings that you like so uh, you might want to choose um, a slightly different uh, font face, a different size um, I'm going to leave mine set to italics there um, and you could at this point say OK but there are two particularly important um, tick boxes at the bottom here which need a bit of consideration. Um, automatically update is generally best left unchecked. Automatically update will basically enable you to update a style from the document without opening the modify style box. Um, it's quite a useful feature but generally one for advanced users. The main thing that you're going to want to consider is uh, the radio button here which says only in this document because by default all styles are actually only saved uh, within the current working document. So if you want the changes, for example a new style to be available to all new documents based on your thesis template you need to remember to click on the new documents based on this template radio button. Once you've done that just say OK and you're your new style, in my case quotation, will appear in the um, styles pane uh, ready for me to apply or use in my document. In the next video we'll have a look at the best way to apply numbering to your chapters and your subheadings.